what we're going over today is how to use a temp stick. And when you would, when you would need a temp stick is when you're doing a multi-pass weld and you have to take an interpass temperature in between the passes. And I just did a video on interpass temperature. That's why this kind of came up. And there's two ways of getting that temperature. One is a temp stick and the other is a digital thermometer. Now on a scale of one to 10, one being not big deal, 10 being a huge deal. I'm gonna say if you don't know how to use a temp stick in the welding world, it's probably around a five. And normally I would say a nine or a 10, but because of digital thermometers, which I have one right here, um, you just pull the trigger, put it on there, 75.9. It gives you the temperature like that. And a lot of people are using these now and not using temp sticks. However, I still think you should know how to use a temp stick in case you ever don't have one of these, or for whatever reason, maybe it runs out of batteries, you need to know how to use a temp stick. So that's why I put it right in the middle of five, because a lot of people are using those digital thermometers. How to use it, when to use it, it's, it's pretty simple. So you're doing a multi-pass weld, and I'm gonna do one out in the lab here on half inch thick plate groove, and we're gonna fill it up, it'll probably take like six passes, and I'm gonna take a temperature with both of them in between each pass, all right? So we're gonna do this out in the lab here at the end after I explain how you do it here. So the first thing you're gonna do, this is the steps one through six, all right? Number one, you gotta weld, right? You weld it, okay? When you get done with the weld, next step, you're gonna wait. You're not gonna take the temp stick right off the bat and put it on there because it's gonna melt instantly, right? That's how you uh, know if it's exceeding the temperature on the, on the temp stick, by the way. If it melts, that's, it's too hot, you gotta wait. If it doesn't melt, then you're okay, all right? So you're gonna apply the temp stick after you wait, probably, I don't know, 10 minutes. Wait, so we'll, we'll write that down, 10 minutes. That might be too long, that might not be long enough. It all depends on what happens once you apply the temp stick. So apply the temp stick. Number four, if it melts, question mark, you gotta wait more, right? So if it melts, you wait more. If it doesn't melt, you go to welding, you put the next weld bead on, all right? Six, you repeat all of this until the joint is full, all right? So that's all there is to it. So once we get out of the lab, if this didn't make sense, it'll make sense once we get uh, filling up that half inch thick plate. But what I'm gonna do now is uh, film the actual uh, box that they come in and the digital thermometer. Then we'll go out in the lab and start doing this. And I, did I write temp stick? Yeah, the brand name of the temp sticks is right here. It's temp S-T-I-K, so it's not a temp stick like you would normally spell it. The brand name is temp stick right here. And that's on the box here, I'll show you in a minute and you'll see that name. And if you wanna buy them, you can buy them and get online and go ahead and purchase those. So this is a typical uh, box that temp sticks come in. And you can see it's spelled S-T-I-K. And we'll, there's a row of them in the inside and we'll open it up, take a look at that real quick with different temperatures on them. This is what it looks like when it's open and you can see there's a row of temp sticks here. Uh, it goes up to 350, which is missing for some reason. Of course, there's going to be one missing, right? 325, 300, 375, 250, 225, all the way down to 125. And the uh, temperature we're going to go with out in the lab today when we're welding is going to be 200 degrees. That's typically what I put the uh, maximum interpass temperature in a multi-pass weld at. So we're going to pull out this uh, 200 degree temp stick right here. And that's the one we're going to use. So if it's over 200 degrees, it's going to melt. If it's under 200 degrees, it won't melt. Let's take a look at the digital thermometer real quick, and then we'll get it on the lab. This is the digital thermometer, and it's just in the form of a little bit of a, kind of looks like a gun, I guess. And you just pull the trigger, and it takes the temperature. I was hoping it would change a little bit. 78 degrees. So that's what a lot of people use nowadays. That's why I gave it only a 5 as far as the scale of 1 to 10. A lot of people are using those now, but I still think you should know how to use a temp stick. So let's get out in the lab, get our half inch thick plate ready to go, and put weld number one down. All right, so I lied to you and said I was going to do it on a half inch thick plate, and the reason I lied is because I came out and find, I found two already beveled 3 8 thick plates. So here they are, here they are tacked up. We're going to put a, a backing weld on there real quick, and then we're going to start filling this up. So I'll put the backing weld on, and we'll do pass number one. And we'll get that temperature uh, stick out and see where we're at.
All right, I just got done welding this, and all I did was wire wheel it. So you take your temp stick, and you always put it on the end, because that was the latest and greatest spot where you had the heat. Draw a line on it, see how it's liquid? That means it's too hot. So what I'm gonna do now, just for curiosity, is hit it with the gun, 280 to 90. So I'm gonna give it five minutes, come back, we'll hit the temp stick again, and if it's good, we'll put the next pass on. If not, we'll wait. All right, so I just gave it five, 10 minutes. I didn't really pay attention, but um, the first, we just did a perfect example when it's too hot. You see how it bled out right there? I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the temp stick again. It's uh, almost good. It, it still bled out a little bit. I'm just curious. So it's saying around 190 on the digital. Let me give it a couple more minutes, and we'll hit it with the temp stick again. It's pretty close. All right, waited like, I don't know, another five minutes. There you go. You see that? Yeah, you can see that. That tells you it's below 200 degrees right there. No more melting. So I'm going to put another pass on it. I won't film it because you've seen me weld once. You've seen me weld a million times. So I'm going to weld it. I'll bring it back, and we'll wait again. And I think we're only going to have to put three passes on this because it's three-eighths instead of half-inch. So let's burn it in. All right, so I waited exactly five minutes here. Again, I'm going to go to the end of the weld. And you can see it melts immediately. So we're going to wait another five minutes. Okay, we waited another five minutes for a grand total of ten minutes. Still melting. Getting closer, though. Waited another five minutes for a grand total of fifteen Look at that. So I'll put the final pass on. I wasn't going to, but I thought, what, what the heck? Why leave it incomplete? I'll put the final pass on and give you a look because this is a welding channel and welding is what we do. So I'll go ahead and put that on, we'll get a final look, and we'll get out of here. All right, I just put on the last pass. You can see there it's all filled in. It's rehashed what we were going over today. 200 degree temp stick and I forgot to mention that it was 8th inch 718 I do believe but if I didn't it was 8th inch 718 that we used to rehash way too hot look smoke even came off of it just got done welding 360 ish let's let her cool all right, so I just went and quenched this just because, I was kind of, just because I was kind of curious to see what the temperature would come back after quenching. So we're going to take this. So it's definitely below 200. Just out of curiosity. It takes it down to about 150. You see that? One, and on where I hit it. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea on how to do uh, interpass temperatures with a temp stick. And I still think everybody should know rather than just using the digital thermometers. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. And make sure you hit the like button if 7018 is your favorite rod. Because it's mine.